Urinary incontinence is a common problem. About half of all women and 20% of men will experience urinary leakage in their lifetime. And there's many reasons why you can have incontinence. It could be from constipation and straining, having babies, lower estrogen levels as we age, which can also weaken our pelvic floor, heavy lifting, lots of coughing and sneezing, uh, cigarette smoking can do it as well. And with men, it can be any prostate issues, having prostate surgeries, um, so they can experience the leakage as they age. And there's two types of incontinence, stress incontinence, if you cough, sneeze, or laugh. And there's also urge incontinence if you're rushing to get to the restroom and you have a leak on the way. Um, you can also have mixed incontinence, which is a combination of both. And so I uh, work with patients who um, want to get rid of the leakage and strengthen their pelvic floor muscles. And about eight out of 10 people can be uh, helped with or even cure incontinence with behavioral therapy. There is surgery, there's also drugs that people can take um, and behavioral therapy, which is really the best way to start because it's the most conservative treatment. It's going to help if someone does Kegel exercises on a daily basis because that will help strengthen and really um, that weak base is gonna be more tight and bulky so that it doesn't allow any leakage to come out. The easiest way to do a Kegel exercise is to actually squeeze as if you're holding in gas because the squeeze originates from the back, comes forward almost like in a zipper approach. Um, and so you, you can't close one garden hose without the other. They all work at the same time. So when you squeeze, your entire pelvic floor lifts up um, towards your head if you're in a sitting position. So I have people squeeze. You need to do at least anywhere from 30 to 80 repetitions a day. So 30 to 80 squeezes throughout the day. Um, so generally three times a day for 20 squeezes is the best way to do that. And so that's how you do a Kegel squeeze, just pretend like you're holding in gas. Um, and that's the easiest way to do one because that, and that will also affect the urinary incontinence because it's the same muscle group. It's a whole hammock that lifts up and squeezes together.